Did you hear me? No. What? Look. Hospital. This is where we get off. Well, let's go, kiddo. Welcome back, ladies and gents. I'm your host, Industry 01. <laughs> feel that breeze, the next chapter huh? in our Ground of Us. Ground of Us. Last like of Us Grounded Walk. Sit on my porch. Pick away my sex string. Yeah, you know, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. I reckon you'd really like that. What do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Oh. Yeah, sure, that sounds great. Hope you guys are joining. We're almost done with the game now, and I promised I'd get it done before part two came out, and we it looks like we're gonna be able to achieve that. I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, but there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash, I wake up. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. Look at that. Another city. Another abandoned quarantine zone. <laughs> There's that hospital the Firefly mentioned. Come on, kiddo. Maybe we cut through here, huh? We didn't have a clue back then. Thing, all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. It's fine. Well, we could use that ladder. Here we go. Ellie? Ellie? What? The ladder. Come on. Right. God. What is it? 
Ellie. Ellie. All right, ladies and gents, this is Sinistrain 01 after the fact. Um, this part has some heavily copyrighted music, so I do apologize for turning this all the way down. Uh, the captions are on, so you can still see what Joel and Ellie are saying. However, the music in this part really, really just gets really loud. You can't turn it down, unfortunately, because it's like a scripted music part. So, um, sorry that I have to talk over this, but it's just, it's good. The video is going to get copyrighted and, uh, there's really nothing I can do about it unless I preemptively do this. So hopefully this will help make it to where it won't be so bad. It's only going to last for like about a minute or so, and then it'll be back to, uh, to normal gameplay. It's just this one section here, this beautiful section where you meet up with this giraffe, which I really thought was an awesome kind of feeling uh, into the game. After you went through that entire winter section, this just really like kind of puts you back at ease a little bit, you know, before like kind of the calm before the storm again, you know. So I really enjoyed this little section and it's just amazing what that the Naughty Dog has done um, with, with such a game like this. I mean, this is why truly, you know, The Last of Us is one of the best games of the previous generation, the play PlayStation 3 generation, because this game just has so many emotions. It brings you up. It brings you down. It just takes you all around. So again, once this uh, conversation coming up is completely over with, then we can go back to the normal and you don't have to worry about uh, me kind of cutting out the music here. So hopefully you guys enjoy and thanks again. Uh, we'll continue the walkthrough. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. Look, I know you mean well, but there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want, okay? Well, I ain't leaving without you. So let's go wrap this up. Ellie! Found another one of them comics. This place takes me back. How so? It was right after everything went down. I ended up in a triage just like this. And everywhere you looked, you just saw families torn apart. 
Whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Is that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it was. I can't imagine losing someone you love like that. Losing everything that you know. I'm sorry, Joel. That's okay, Ellie. There we go. Hey, Joel, I got something for you. Here. Maria showed this to me and I, uh, I stole it. I hope you don't mind. you try I guess you can't escape your past <laughs> thank you It's gonna be different. I just know it. What do you mean? We're gonna be there. The fireflies. I'm sure of it. Many of them. 
I know, let's just keep at it. up there. Ellie, get on up there and drop that crate for me. Good. I don't think they can reach us now. Okay. Now watch your step. That water looks pretty deep. Hey, that's Hold up. Right, just stick to the edge. It's shallow over there. All right. 
Give me a foot. Okay. Come on. Get that door open. You okay? Yeah. They just surprised me. Man, I can't wait for those things to be wiped out. Get on. Okay. Okay, there. Come on. Be careful. I got you. Damn ladder broke off the wall. Now what? I'll figure something out.
Oh, boy. Let me go ahead, and you follow my lead. Okay, right behind you. Okay, come on, jump. You're gonna catch me? I got you. See? You didn't even need me. Let's get the hell off this thing. Hands in the air! She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air! Come on. <laughs> Welcome to the Fireflies. Sorry about the... They didn't know who you were. And Ellie? She's all right. They brought her back. <sighs> you came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. <clears throat> she fought like hell to get here. Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> I lost most of my crew crossing the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. <laughs> Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell do you mean, surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, has somehow mutated. It's why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does.
Find someone else. There is no one else. Listen, you were gonna show me where she... Stop. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me. Or even her. There is no other choice here. Of that bullshit. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joe. Get up. I said, get up. I said move. Give me an excuse. Which way? What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. <laughs> Where was the operating room? I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Top floor, the far end. seen in all past cases. Antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high above the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic region. 
which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate the state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain.
I'm about to get all the way from Pittsburgh. That's how I am. My only sister is pressing on herself.
there's a chance to save us. All of us. This is what we were after. What you were after. <sighs> they asked me to kill the smuggler. I'm not about to kill the one man in this facility that might understand the weight of this choice. What are you doing in here? I won't let you take her. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Don't come any closer. I mean it. Again, I apologize. This is another spot where copyright hits big time. So it's just so sad that we live in a YouTube world now where um, the game developers themselves are now copywriting uh, the game and its music. So the days of old are pretty much almost gone in YouTube where uh, it always used to be where just, you know, like kind of main music, you know, popular music and that kind of stuff got copyrighted. But now the developers and the publishers themselves are copywriting even the in-game regular music made for in the game. So uh, this isn't the first video. My last few videos got hit with copyright because of in-game music. And I'm not talking outside music. I'm talking, like I said, game that was made specifically for the, the game or music that was made specifically for the game. It's a little sad, but I'm just trying to do my best here to make sure that our channel can continue to grow and, uh, you know, this is what I do for a living, guys. So if you don't want this type of stuff of me having to cut out certain audio sections and make sure you, you know, if you can, become a Patreon or become a member and it helps the channel out so that we can continue to do what we love to do. So hope you enjoy. Come on. Come on. You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Anytime a 
damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... St they've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. Like we're walking. Should be a straight shot through here. All right. It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. All right. Now watch your head going through. now. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think uh, I you would have been, been good friends if you really would have liked. I know she would have liked. Better work. A bit further now. There, I got you. All right, come on. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. No, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what, you keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear.
All right, ladies and gents, The Last of Us Grounded Walkthrough Remastered Edition is complete. Thank you to everyone out there for believing that I can get this done before Part 2 comes out. If you're watching this after Part 2, make sure you check out Part 2's walkthrough. We achieved all collectibles and got all the trophies for them. And we completed Grounded Mode, which was definitely a tough, tough thing to do. Now, um... I don't really know how to get to... Isn't it sad that, uh, you know, I have a PlayStation and I don't even know how to get to, uh... To all the collectibles that I got, but let's take a look at, um... The bonuses here. You can see that we have $7,100 in our, our wallet, so now you can play the game with different skins. Concept art. Um rendering modes which makes the game change the way it looks uh there's also i'll take a look at our statistics now you can see kind of uh, what we went through so here was the total of our game um we total kills was 1118 seven deaths during our grounded walkthrough um 12 ally deaths so you can see sometimes it can be i guess tough to to save your ally um Damage taken, gun combat deaths, firearm kills, a lot of melee kills, like chokeouts and stuff. 847 of those kills were melee related. Wow. Um, collectibles, artifacts 85, fireflies 30, manuscripts 12, comics 14, tools 5. Um... Crafting, stalker kills, upgrades. We didn't do a lot of upgrades, did we? Just did the swaying upgrade, and that's it. And we completed it on grounded. So the only thing we have left to do at some point, I'm not going to do it now, obviously, but that is left behind. Um, everything else, as you can see, we pretty much uh, got. I mean... We did our best to achieve as many uh, of the trophies as you can actually get. Let me see where the trophies list is. All right, so we've only actually completed 29%. That's because you have to play the game multiple times in order to really... Um, and there's a lot of multiplayer trophies. Grounded mode, we did, I guess, 50% of that. Uh, you have to go... Wow, you can do another one, which is grounded mode plus where you um, have all your stuff unlocked at the beginning and then you start out ultra buff. But I think we're not going to do that one twice. Um, everything else that you see we get, uh, all Firefly pendants, all comics, all artifacts, all training manuals, all collectibles, craft every item, unlock all shiv doors. Um, so yeah, we've done pretty much all of the really, really tough and hard stuff, so hopefully I was able to help you out getting through The Last of Us Remastered. I really don't go for Platinums. That's not my style. I just like to play video games and show them off to you guys. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching the walkthrough. I really do hope you all enjoyed it. And um, yeah, be safe out there. Don't forget to leave a like, comment. What, do you th what did you think of the walkthrough? Is there anything I can do to improve our walkthroughs? Always let me know that in the comments below. It truly helps out. So love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out.